Hey guys, welcome to JPT. I'm Carson G and this is Just Plain Tech. In today's video, we are going to rip a CD to our computer. reasons why you would want to rip a CD to your computer. For example, you may want a backup of all your music because your disc may be getting scratched, or you may want to listen to music on something without an optical drive, like your phone or your laptop or your Raspberry Pi or something like that, or anything else. But there are lots of reasons that you may want to rip this, and I'm going to show you exactly how to do it using a software called a Sunder CD Ripper, and I will be using Linux in today's tutorial. Okay, once you are on your desktop, on any Debian-based Linux distribution, you're going to want to go click the terminal. By the way, you're going to want to have an optical drive in your computer to be able to do this, obviously. So you're going to type in sudo apt update just to update the package repositories and make sure everything goes smoothly when we try to install a Sunday. Alright, once it's done doing that, you're going to want to type in sudo apt install asunder A-S-U-N-D-E-R click enter and it will go ahead and do that for us. It should only take like a second or two. And it's already done. So as you can see, if we go to our menu here, there it is, it's under CD Ripper. So now we're going to open up our optical drive and we're going to take out our CD and we're going to put it in the optical drive. Mine is a Brad Paisley mud on the tire CD that's what I'm trying to rip so I'm gonna use that for today's example and it should show up in our file manager pretty soon there it is audio disk so now we're gonna want to go ahead and open up a sunder and you can see it'll say checking disk and it will come up with all this unknown everything then we have to rename everything ourselves. That's kind of annoying. We don't want to do that. We can have it do all that work for us. That's what we're going to do here. So it might not work. And if it doesn't work right when you get on, it's because you're going to want to go to preferences and you're going to go to advanced. And right here, server, freedb.freedb.org. So this server has been taken down. So if your distribution's package manager hasn't updated it to switch it over to gnudb.org, you're gonna have to do it manually. So we're gonna type all that out. We're gonna type in gnudb.gnudb.org. We're gonna go ahead and type that in. And then we'll do cddb lookup. And it should get everything from here. There we go, Brad Paisley, Mud on the Tires, Country 2003, and it has all the songs and their titles and all the tags. Perfect. We're ready to go. So now all we do is just click rip. And this process should only take a minute or two, and I'll get back to you guys when it's finished. All right, here we are. 17 files successfully created. Now, as expected, that only took about a minute and a half. Once that's all done, you can just close everything out here. And... If we go to our file menu, it will be right here in our home directory. And of course, there it is, Brad Paisley, Mud on the Tires. We can go ahead and eject our audio disc now, because now we do not need it. So if we go and click here in our folder, as you can see, it has all the files that we just ripped. And now you can do whatever you want with these files. You can copy them to your phone, your laptop, or you could just keep them on here just in case, whatever. So 
Thank That's you all so it. much for watching this video. Please make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell down below if you haven't already for more amazing videos like this coming to you weekly. One other thing, a lot of you have commented that the background music in my videos are a little bit too loud. So in this video, I tried to dial it down a little bit. Please let me know in the comments if it is still too loud or if I got it just right, because I kind of need your guys' help on that. Anyway, we'll see you next time.